Prime Minister Honorable James Murphy today announced a 42.7 billion kina health intervention program for the next 10 to 15 years in Papua New Guinea. He made the announcement when addressing the 56th Medical Symposium of the Medical Society of PNG in Port Moresby. The symposium has the theme ICT in COVID-19 Pandemic Education and Research. Our government has committed to a 42.7 billion kina 10 year to 15 year program of interventions in the health sector. But these interventions must be made correctly in the correct places so that the small steps are being worked upon to achieve the bigger dreams of our collective dreams of our country going forward. And it calls upon every one of us to work together and at this juncture let me say thank you for those of you who have paid, played your part for our country to be where it is today. Today up front as your government I bring to you our total commitment to ensure our national health plan is financed to the best ability and we can together work to lift the standard of our health services in our country better for our people to benefit from going forward. Prime Minister Marape said his government was putting his money where its mouth was with the biggest ever allocation of 2.8 billion kina to health in the 2022 budget. Our government is committed to make health a major focus. You cannot find a better place to read government policy than every year's annual appropriations. In the last annual appropriation, health sector received the highest ever presented to any sector, and more importantly to the health sector since 1975. Health has always come behind uh, infrastructure and come behind education but we've turned it around in as far as percentage, percentage allocation is concerned, health received the highest last year. Three. Prime Minister Marape said COVID-19 had awoken PNG to the ailing state of health facilities throughout the country. This is one indirect benefit of the COVID-19 pandemic, if I can put it this way. If you think COVID-19 pandemic has no benefit to Papua New Guinea, it has benefits. The benefit is the lesson we have learned in the COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic exposed our vulnerability that we were carrying all along. How can a nation of two, a nation of possibly 10 million people, and we will do a very detailed and comprehensive population immunization next year, 2023. There will be a major census done that will have many questions, not just the common census questions, but many questions, including health questions, that we will ask our people. But in a nation, coming back, if our population is 10 million people, how can you have a nation of 10 million people with only 200 ICU beds nationwide? 200 ICU beds nationwide. This is absolutely poor. And of the 200 beds nationwide, Guess what? Only 40 from the first time I work, went into uh, Dr. Downey, Dr. Dakulala, and the COVID-19 room and asked them, how many ICU beds we have in our country? They said 200. How many of them had oxygen ventilations are tested? They said only 40. Of the 40, Port Mosby General Hospital had 26 of them. And I was really dumbfounded and I was stunned and I was embarrassed. Having been a politician for, at a time, almost 12 years, I felt that I had let my country down in a very big way. A nation of 10 million people, only 200 IC beds. The 200 IC beds, only 40 beds with oxygen and ventilation attached to it. A nation of uh, 10 million people, only 200 IC beds, with only 40 of them with oxygen connected, I felt that we stood naked in the midst of a pandemic that had every possibility to ravage our nation. And so COVID-19 gave us many, many blessings in disguise. We learned from it, our exposures, our weaknesses, but we also learned the power of using ICT as a platform to ensure electronic messaging and electronic economy and electronic medicine and electronic commerce and electronic education 
can be utilized. Today, 21st century world is a world of ICT. And Papua New Guinea must leapfrog from where we are today to the world of an ICT-based business, commerce, education, and health transactions. Is that all right? Papua New Guinea will leapfrog. Papua New Guinea must leapfrog, and I am willing to invest substantially in this area to ensure e-health, e-education, e-commerce, e-judiciary, because to not to go into that space will be, for us, a setback by hundreds of years, because in the world of ICT platform, the world is leapfrogging into real on online business, real online medicine, real online education, real online uh, functionality of society, and so I want to appreciate the fact that you've included ICT in this conversation. COVID-19 has given us this exposure for us to know what we must do better. And I am happy that you combined the team, education and research. I want your suggestions to better the health sector to be back with statistics.